Good morning, welcome to a Disney Day vlog. It is September 1st when I'm filming this, so it is the first day of official Halloween at Disneyland. I had to come over, check out what foods there are, check out the ride overlays, see what different merch has come out. The biggest thing I'm excited for though is definitely the ride overlays and having no budget and buying a ton of food and snacks. So I'll take you guys along for everything and I will list the prices out, I will show you guys merch, I will take you along on the whole entire ride. But we're not going to start at Disneyland, I'm actually going to start at California Adventure, then pop over to Disneyland, then pop back over to California Adventure. We're going to kind of bounce between the two, but first let's Let's go away from the cute pumpkins and go over to California Adventure and there's a few things I want to do over there including check out the Halloween merch and the Halloween decorations when you first walk in and that like and subscribe button down below if you haven't already hit that like button to let me know that you love the freaking Disney vlogs and hit that subscribe if you want to see more of them Here are the start of some of the Halloween stuff that's out. I love seeing the displays with Halloween things. I wish you could buy the little decorations in the bottom, but basically you can buy the things on the mannequins. Either way, I'm just happy to see Halloween is out and flourishing. Because it is September 1st, so we have so much Halloween stuff. There's a bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff. I'm not a big fan of the color palette of Haunted Mansion, but either way, it is super cute. And they even have the little head, which you can push, if I can push it. You can push the little thing and it lights up. That's super cute. And there's some just random like knick-knacky stuff too. But they also have like t-shirts over here. One of my favorite t-shirts is this one, because I already came in here, but it's a kid's shirt. I'm like, dang it. And then they have the cute little stuffed animal, but again, it's those like weird blue and purple colors. I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to Halloween. Like, I love the color palette over here. I think this backpack from Loungefly is super cute with the orange and black. Like, that's my go-to color palette when it comes to things. They even have the cute little ears. And then again, the color palette they chose this year is more like this, but I like more the traditional orange. And they have more stuff for um, Haunted Mansion. They have the little backpack here. This is my go-to when it comes to Halloween. Like the traditional candy corn colors, not as much of the color palette they chose this year of like the neon -y colors. Come on, traditional for me, please. And those are another one of the ears from this year. Look at all the cute Halloween stuff. They have even more over here. It's so adorable. Look at the little candle. And they have a hat with ears. And the lounge fly. It's so adorable. Oh look, it's the trick or treat bucket. That is so cute. And they have even more over here. Oh, I love seeing the Halloween displays. And I honestly think it, this is my favorite thing this year. I actually like it bigger than, better than the bigger pumpkin, but the one that sold out everywhere. I think this one's so much cuter. And then it says trick or treat on the back, and it lights up. I just saw one testing. Will it light up for me? Can you guys see it? Like it lights up and changes color. I just so detailed. It's $24.99. I'm not sure how big, how much the big pumpkin is or the little one because I knew that I'd do the little one, but I like this one so much better. But if I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna pick it up at the end of the day so I don't have to carry this all day because it's cute, but I just don't want to carry that. So I might pick that up on my way out today. We'll see how much money I end up spending before that happens. Before I get too much into looking at all the merchandise for Halloween, I'm gonna go check out what time the drawings are and see if there's one I wanna do today because those are more time sensitive and everything else I can do at any point later. So I'm just gonna hop in there, look at the schedule, and then we'll figure out what else we're gonna do and when we're gonna get lunch. So here is the drawings today. Oh, at 9 a.m. they had a Halloween Mickey one. Oh, they have Sally. I guess that one would be Halloween-y. Oh, there's 100 exclusive, but again, 
this one already passed, so these are the ones that are left. But there's like villains. I don't know if that's like a specific villain or how that works. But there's Oogie Boogie at eight. One of the new Halloween food items is not showing up on mobile order, but it is on the sign right here. It's this one. So I think I might get this instead of sitting down and getting nachos. That is on mobile order right now and that looks disgusting. For some reason, this one's not showing up, but these are two of the new items they have for Halloween time. And then they do have the sippers too, and the little like ice cube, glow in the dark cube things, and the little sipper. This one is so adorable. They had that one previously. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> that looks so crazy. That's the new Halloween one. Looks delicious. If you've ever heard of dirt dogs in downtown LA, that's what this hot dog reminds me of. It's covered in so much stuff, it's honestly kind of just falling off while you're eating it, but it is delicious. A little funky with the pineapple, but overall, I would say it's a pretty good one. I'm not sure why it really makes it Halloween-y. I guess because it looks kind of crazy, and it does come with fries too, which I'm glad. And the hot dog is so much longer than the bun. But either way, it's pretty good. Again, just reminds me of dirt dogs, but I like dirt dogs better. Okay, perfect. They did have to-go boxes so I can head over and do the drawing of the villain and finish this when I'm done. So glad they have a box. Back in for the drawing at 2.30. It's a villain, so let's go see what villain we're gonna draw. before heading to the very end of the row. That part's really important. Head to the very last seat available in your row without stopping in the middle. To your steps and then just head to the very end of your row. Just a moment. Uh, my name's Josh. I'm going to be teaching you how to draw this Disney villain from Disney's first feature film ever. From 1937, this villain has a magic mirror. Does anybody know who I'm talking about? The Evil Queen. Is anybody a fan of Snow White or the Evil Queen out there? Anybody? Okay, we got some fans. All right, everyone else? Good luck. All right, are we ready to draw the evil queen? Yes. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with a circle in the center of our page, about the size of a baseball or an orange is probably good. Keep it light, keep it loose, does not need to look perfect. Great, great guess. It's not a crow, it's a bird that's really flashy. A peacock, right? So in the film, right, what is she asking the mirror? Who's the fairest of them all, right? Like her whole thing is vanity. She wants to be the most beautiful, the most fair. And so they chose a peacock to really, really tiny in your sketchbooks. I love the expression of the side eye on this one. Very sassy, I like it. Oh, we got big lips on that one. I like it, really nice job. Excellent work with those silhouettes and those proportions. Ooh, nice and zoomed in, I like it. These are so evil, so good. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thanks really God, messed everyone. up on those nice eyes. <laughs> And you gotta get a cute little Halloween map. Look at the pumpkin. Now let's go see the actual pumpkin over here. Officially back in Disneyland and I have a wait time for Haunted Mansion, but Pirates of the Caribbean said it has a short wait time right now. I'm guessing because of the parade. So I'm thinking Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise. Um, we'll see what we fit between going on Haunted Mansion. And I also want to check out some of the merchandise stuff and look at the new popcorn bucket. But either way, first stop is going to be Pirates of the Caribbean where it has that short wait time. Hopefully it's actually true. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it has a huge line, so might not be doing that. 
So it says it's only 10 minutes, but it looks pretty long. <laughs> he comes seek an adventure in Saudi old pirates, eh? Sure, he'll come to the proper place. But keep a weather eye open, mates. And hold on tight. <laughs> In the gift shop area by the ride, they had more haunted mansion stuff. And look, dear departed brother Dave, he chased a bear into a cave. And then good old Fred, a great big rock fell on his head. <laughs> they're silly, they got some weight to them. Look, they're both here. That's so cool. By the Haunted Mansion, they have two of the popcorn buckets. It's surprisingly not the Mickey one over here, but they do have zero. And then they also have this one over here, which is the car bucket. But again, they don't have the Mickey one over here. Oh, the first time spotting the Halloween overlay. This is literally my favorite time of the year for this ride. It's just so pretty. Look at her. Oh. Damn, even the fast pass lane right now is super long. Damn, like super long. And that's Miss Lightning Lane. It is 30 to 40 minutes for a lightning lane for Haunted Mansion right now, so I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. And let's go get some dessert. I wanna try the new fried dough thing from Hungry Bear, that's specifically Halloween one. So let's go see what it looks like. I'm gonna mobile order it. So they have the red pepper chili fry things, and they have this burger that I might get if I'm hungry later. But mostly I want to get the dessert right now. Let's, let's see. Not the house made funnel cake. This one. The pumpkin churro funnel cake. Like look how good that looks. Gonna try that one and film it for TikTok. $10.79 with a discount, but overall, oh, that's gonna be so delicious. Oh my god, you can get a package to go. That's so convenient. I'm gonna get dining though. I'm just gonna eat it right now. Thanks, I'm a bit. So these are the Halloween treats right now, and that's the one I just ordered. For Tori? Yes, you're good. Thank, Thank you. you. So this one is the new pumpkin funnel churro cake. It looks so good. And this makes the first dessert of the night, the Hungry Bear Restaurant, coming in clutch with a delicious themed dessert. It's supposed to be pumpkin, and I am 
so looking forward to this. So I've gotten their funnel cake previously before during Halloween time, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the same flavor as before. Because I think the last one was pumpkin too. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy this because it brings me back to like Six Flags as a kid. Mm. It is really good. It's not warm as I was expecting it to be, but the ice cream is delicious. It's good. It's definitely worth getting. I'm a little biased because I love funnel cake. It would start lightly drizzling when I leave. I've been sitting down, relaxing, eating my food. No rain. And then all of a sudden this drizzling came out of nowhere, but it said it's gonna stop in like seven minutes. But Stella was like, it wasn't supposed to rain today. Where the hell did this come from? And I'm like, go figure again as I go to start walking. But I figured I would go wait in the Haunted Mansion line. Hopefully got a little bit smaller than it was before. <laughs>